Welcome one and all to Terra Memoria. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today the city of Constance is in disarray. Mechanical constructs are attacking the city, and energy shortages are putting the populace up in arms. I'll assemble an unlikely band of heroes to take on the external threats and investigate the source of the troubles. Can the city be saved? Let's find out in Terra Memoria. Alright, here we go with Terra Memoria. This is a new turn-based fantasy RPG. Now, the game did recommend the usage of a controller, so that is indeed what I am using. If you want to check this game on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it with a new game. Carcasses and rusty shells, they're swarming the barricades. We can't hold them back alone. They just keep coming and coming. I gathered all the guards I could find. It's not looking good. We have to push them back before they reach the city. First the crystal shortages, and now we're being attacked by junkyard scrap. If the city of Constance is overrun, then Constancy will truly have failed us. Moshang is on his way. He may not my bravest student, but he's got talent. One mage ain't gonna change much. No disrespect, great constant mage JD. Have faith in the constancy of magic, Krog. All that is, will be. Although, are you sure about that giant fork of yours? He does have a giant fork. Listen, I'm an innkeeper by trade and not captain of the guard. I'm just here to help. Ah, Moshang, there you are. Late as usual. Better than never, I guess. Well, get on with it. Those carcasses won't destroy themselves. Uh, well, thing is, this seems like a big leap from training monsters. I was hoping you'd come with me, at least for the start. You're a graduate mage now, Moshang, a true constant mage. Now is the time to put into practice everything I've taught you. We must let constancy be our guide, stable, unbroken, and everlasting. May our hearts remain steadfast, our will unshakable, and we shall preserve peace. Yes, but are you going to come and help me? We must stand strong, stand together, stand constant. Yes, stand together because you're going to come and help me. That's right. Go on then, Moshang, onwards. Oh, you're not going to help. Moshang comes to lend a hand. Hey, I'm not just a pair of arms, I'm a mage. A mage. Quest unlocked, defending Constance in Southfield, help the constant mages. They're not sometimes mages, they, they are constant mages. Oh, here we are. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love the, I love the 2D pixel art sprites on the 3D background. Can we run? There we go, we can run. Oh, we're running in the wrong direction. Back this way, there we go. Moshang, finally decided to get your head out of the books and come help us. Those damn carcasses are waking up and attacking. Beep, boop, buzz. Destroy this one and join us at the front lines. Don't worry, I've already beaten her up pretty good. The battle begins. We have a fly saw, hitting us for three with a laser cut. Understanding the timeline. The timeline shows in how many turns a character will use their next skill. Each turn, the character furthest to the left uses a skill. They then return to the timeline and play again in a few turns. Would you rather play again faster or use a more powerful attack? Those informations can be found to the left and right of a skill respectively. Please note, if the square you need to reach is occupied, you'll fall behind. Choose your skills carefully so you can play again before the others. Alright, we have Incandescence, plays again in 5 turns, or a Rockfall, plays again in 8 turns, but does a lot more damage, has more power. I don't know how many turns the Fly Saw will attack again in. Let's just do the max here and see how much power this is, how much damage we do. 7? Oh, that's more than half. Excellent. Taking 3. Oh, we're going to get hit again. That's fine. We should be able to take you out now with another rock fall. There we go. Excellent. Fly saw bites the dust.
Go to the front lines. Oh, hello. Go forth without fear, mage. I... I got your back. Sure, you, you stay back here. Can I talk to you? Zenetho. It's hard work here. We keep rebuilding everything from scratch. It's hard to rebuild anything when those carcasses keep wreaking havoc. Fortunately, the mages have our backs, my beloved rivet. Okay. Ooh, can I fight you? I may just be a cook, but I can still carve up a whole carcass. Yaha! Alright, can I help out? Oh no, you... Okay, you got him. What's this way? Ooh, a chest? A chest full of building materials. I must be the only murky who doesn't like that kind of stuff. Oh, so we're just not gonna... <laughs> we're just not gonna pick it up. I don't like to build. Two constant mages against one carcass. This is almost too easy. What was that? The barricade. A carcass destroyed the barricade. This can't be happening. Constancy itself is being tested. Deal with this damn machine. I'll go help them. The battle begins. We have a were dog. Hitting us for five, and it looks like we heal in between battles, which is good. Exploiting weaknesses, attacks are associated with elements such as water and fire. There's one mysterious element that is as strong as all the others combined. Targeting an enemy's elemental weaknesses deals more damage. These weaknesses are visible next to the life gauge and shield. Destroying an enemy's shield makes them weak to all elements. Shock also sends the enemy to the end of the timeline very powerful. Dealing damage results in the loss of one shield point and two points if the attack exploits an elemental weakness. Alright, so they are weak to our rock fall, so we're going to use that. Very nice. It's super effective. Where dog becomes weak to everything and falls behind. Oh, because we broke, we broke their shield. Excellent. So another rock fall should do it. Super effective. Where dog bites the dust. Defeat the last carcasses. Oh, okay, it's over there. But what is what is this over here? Craft. This is not this is not the time to do that. Okay, fair enough. Anything down here? Another chest. Something I can grab. Boards. Much less effective than magic against carcasses. Okay, I'm guessing that's all for later. Oh, hello you. Yeah, go for it. I'll watch your back. Nobody wants to help me here. Just three more to go. Three mages, three carcasses. We'll leave them to you, Mosheng. Stay strong. Oh, nobody really wants to help me at all. The battle begins. We have a vacuum. Targeting multiple characters. Multi-target skills affect all characters in a team. They are labeled with three dots. Choose the incandescent skill to target all carcasses at once. Oh, excellent. And then the vacuum and the fly saw are weak to that. Very nice. Super effective. I'm gonna get hit though. Breath of maintenance. Oh, you're a healer. Alright, uh, I can use... Were Dog is weak to the rock fall. But I should use Incandescence, and that should knock the vacuum and the fly saw back when I break their shield. Super effective. Several enemies are weakened and fall behind. Excellent. And then... Oh, that puts me behind everybody. Uh, I should use incandescence again. And the were dog will break and get sent back as well. Vacuum bites the dust. 
super effective. Flysaw bites the dust. And Were Dog gets pushed back. And then we can just use a rock fall right now. Excellent. Oh, I like this combat system. It's very nice. Talk to Hama, the engineer. Holy wrench. The barricade has been pulverized. Nothing left. Zilch. Boom. Fortunately, my wife and I are on the case. The tool case. You said it, my bolt. Ain't no one better than us. Thank you for volunteering, young murky. I didn't volunteer. I may be a murky, but I'm not a handyman. Nonsense. With those arms of yours, the barricade will be finished in no time. Building materials and boards are stored in nearby chests. Oh, I know where they are. And the schematics are waiting on the workbench. Good luck, uh, young murky. Alright, I can do that if it's for Constance, but let me warn you, it's the last time I'm tinkering with anything. I'm a mage now. New quest unlock to the barricades. Get the supplies from the chests, build the barricade, and talk to Hama. Alright, uh, oh, what's this over here? Okay, nothing. Can I go this way? May I lose my shell if even one person goes through? This area is off limits. Captain's orders. Yes, even for the mages of the constant order. Alright, fair enough. Let's go uh, grab these materials. Here are the materials, and now we just need to find the boards. Should be right down this way. And here are the boards. All that's left to do is build the barricade. Makeshift barricade, a relatively large barricade to stop relatively nasty enemies. Craft that. Excellent. Alright, I have your barricade for you. What a wonderful barricade. Ain't that right, my ball bearing? And that's it, my bolt. Outstanding murky work. If you're as good at DIY as you are at magic, then we were never at risk in the first place. Ready the rest? If it helps, I'd, I'd like to get back to my magic books. And the next step is magic. Oh, there we go. See the shiny stone? Activate it and you'll be able to place the barricade with minimal effort. Magic. Place the barricade to block the way and everything will return to constancy. Nice. Activate the construction stone. Now to place this brand new barricade to protect Constance. Be careful, it must be built in the right spot. Fortunately, you can rotate it until it's in the correct position. Uh, oh, what's the, the other part here? Oh, an eraser. Okay, grab the barricade. And then, how do I rotate? Oh, left button, right button. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Talk to JD, the constant mage. Are you uh, back here at the beginning? Oh, yep, yeah, there you are. So, Mosheng, doesn't it feel good to use your powers to the fullest extent of your ability? Yes, great constant mage. This new barricade should be enough to protect the farmlands outside our capital. Finally, we'll be able to restore constancy to our lives. Um, I'd like to go back to the dump to read if I'm no longer needed here. Okay, sure, back to the dump. Good idea. Among all those old books, there must be one that will tell us what awakened these damn piles of scraps. Indeed, Krog, we must not forget the lessons of the past, even as we strive for a constant present. But remember, Mosheng, a constant mage's duty is in the here and now, using magic for the common good. Uh, yep, yep, um, only I just found a good tome about the cycles of magic. Sigh, go on then.
Oh, wow. Look at this place. This place looks great. I'm really here. The city of Constance. That's funny. It's much less imposing than in my memories. I was just a kid when I left, I guess. Ten years of summoning school. Ten years in the Karsic spirit realm. I wonder if my parents will even recognize me. I hope they'll be proud of me. I hope they won't be mad that I left school. Let's see, we lived just east of here, I think. Our house had a red door. Sill answers to the call. I'm glad I left the spirit world to find my mom and dad. Find the house with the red door east of the city. Alright, we'll head this way. Getting tired of walking, you can run at any time by pressing the running button. Yes, indeed. Alright, red door. Oh, there we go. Yes. M mom What? One screwball in the family is plenty enough, thank you. Do I look like a furry mom? But I was sure my parents lived here. Well, now they don't. In case you haven't noticed, Constancy has gone out the window. Sure, but... Where are my parents, then? Why don't you ask the family's wonder boy, my brother, the legendary mage Moshang? Mo... Moshang? I'll be damned. Have you never heard of the legendary mage Moshang? No. Where can I find him? Lots of hair, not much brains. He spends his time with all those useless books at the dump on the 5th. Alright, thank you. Have a constant day. Sure, constant... See you later. Alright, that did not go well. Have you seen my parents talk to the world-famous mage Moshang on the 5th Terrace? Where's the 5th Terrace? This is the first terrace, the lowest in the city. Oh, we gotta go up. To go up to the 5th, you have to take the elevators. But I've never done it on my own. I can do this. The station can't be far. Uh, is this the station? No crystals, no transportation. The station is closed to passengers until further notice. That's what they call constancy nowadays. Alright. Well, how do I get uh, up? Oh, what is this? Fair dodger, fair dodger. Oh, hold on. No ticket, no passage. Where can I find one? Good luck with that. At the inn, probably, if there's any left, that is. Okay, so no, this is the elevator here. Okay, uh, where's the inn? Is this... Nope. Let's see, telephone... This place is huge. Oh, hey, look. I know you. With the giant fork. Krog. I need help. That makes two of us. Since I was appointed captain of the guard, I haven't had the time to take care of the inn. And one of those damn carcasses broke through my basement floor. A carcass? What's that? Go down there and you'll see. I sent my cook guard to take care of it, but he's still down there. Um, but we have other eggs to fry. Rid me of this carcass and I'll give you whatever you want. Deal? Sounds like a deal to me. Defeat the carcass inside the inn. See, uh, back this way. Oh, there we are. What is that thing? No one told us about these in summoning school. It's kind of cute. We'll see if you find it cute when it starts shooting lasers with its face. Kill it. All right, give me a second. I just need to focus. Wander the gemstone path. Focus, just like at school. I call upon the Karsak ancestor spirits for guidance and strength. I'm calling you, Nanali, Aeus, daughter of the star, great mistress of the dark forest. Do something, quick! I, I've never actually had to do this in a real battle. I can't do it. Oh jeez. Oh no, help me. Help me spirits, help me Nanali. Oh, it's not going well. Nanali, please. Oh, there we go. Wow. 
That was impressive. Natalie? Natalie, are you with me? Come back to me, Natalie. Aeus, daughter of the star. My spirit, my guide, she's gone. I'm sorry, Natalie. Please don't leave me, too. I failed my teachers enough as a major Karsak. Who ever heard of a summoner without spirits to summon? If I did anything wrong, Natalie, I'm sorry. I promise I'll find you and apologize. Talk to Krog the Innkeeper, expired elevator ticket guidance or guidebook page, and 50 bucks. Alright, I got rid of your uh, carcass problem. Done. There's no more carcass in the cellar. Already? You're quite efficient. Thank you. Oh, by the way, welcome to Constance, the city where the sun never sets. You're not going to let a few minor annoyances interfere with your visit, are you? I'll give you an elevator ticket and the guidebook to Constance, our beautiful capital. It can provide you with a lot of information that'll help you enjoy your time here. I wish you a good and constant stay. Why, thank you. Oh, here we go. Constance... Nestled in the foothills of the placid mountains, the seven terraces of Constance offer unrivaled beauty. Constancy is watching. What are those capes? If it wears a cape, it's a mage. And if it's a mage, it's a mage of the Constant Order, Terra's largest and only magic academy. Magic may be useless, but it looks super cool. The dump of the fifth terrace recuperates and donates all kinds of objects. Old books, moldy vegetables, lost children. Hyenas can dig up anything, even that wheelbarrow you sold six months ago at the other end of Terra. Party hard at the constant hullabaroo on the fifth terrace. Three stars in the Bichelin Guide. Music is magic at the hullabaroo, even the monsters wiggle to the beat. Warning, the hullabaroo is a dangerous place. Visitors may only enter if accompanied by a certified bard. To visit the constant hullabaroo, call on Alto, licensed bard. Come to my stall for more information, fifth terrace. Alto knows all the notes. A delighted visitor. Alright, let's, uh... Let's head up. Uh, not there. This way. Hello, I, I have my, my ticket. Do you have a ticket? Alright, savor it. Who knows when we'll run out of crystals to make these elevators go. To the fifth terrace. Oh, what's going on here? Hogar. I'm telling you, we don't need crystals. Constancy was there before they were. Civilization existed long before we had crystals as a power source, and it will endure long after. We can shape a new constancy for ourselves. This sounds good and all, Hogar, but is it true? Can you prove it? You're right. People need to know that it is possible. How could we show them? Uh, maybe we could find books from an era before crystals? That's a great idea. Go to the dump and dig through the old books to find out for how long we've been using the crystals. When you'll have found proof, tear out the page and bring it here. Whoa, just tear out a page from a book? Who knew books could be useful after all? Short of crystals, not of ideas. Search the books of the dump for information about crystals. All right, we'll do. Oh, we have like a... I just noticed we have like a map. Oh, wow, look at this. There's a bunch of places to go. And then, is this a journal? Guide and tutorials. Oh, what is this right here? Uh, something we can't use quite yet. All right, where, where's this dump? Oh, is it down there on the right? Oh, wait, hello. Are you Alto? The right note is the one you play when the time's right. Okay, well, I don't need to enter the, the hullabaroo quite yet. Hello? Not gonna happen. Oh, what is this? 
you must be accompanied by an authorized bard to enter the constant hullabaroo. Okay. That's the hullabaroo. What about over here? A mommy, daddy. Have you lost your parents too? At this rate, they're the ones who'll end up losing themselves, that's for sure. My parents are the best engineers in all of Terra. When they are not busy scattering their tools all around the city, that is. Since they started hanging out with this Hogar that's on everyone's lips, they've been even more distracted. If you ever come across our wrench, bring it back to me, alright? Accessory to disorder. Bring wrench to Harris Tho. And I'll get some money. That sounds great. How, does anybody else have uh, anything uh, for me? More side quests? Mum said the phone don't work, so we don't call. We can't call Dad because there are no crystals. So well, I'm waiting for the crystals. You think they'll be back soon? Who knows? Oh wait, here, all these books, <laughs> all on the front. There you are. Hello, Moshang. Um, excuse me. Hi, are you the genius of the dump? Did Kerma send you to torment me? Please, leave me alone. No, I... Alright, let me guess. Someone needs me to bust down a wall, or carry some boxes around, maybe? It's always, hey, Moshang, quit it with the books and learning and magic crap already. We need you to carry those two-ton slabs to the work sites. Good, honest work for a murky. Well, technically, you could lift even heavier stuff with magic. Finally, someone who understands. Wait, are you a mage too? I've never seen you before. Oh, no, I'm a Karsak summoner. Kinda. My name is Syl. Well, technically it's Syl Esphere, heir of Aeus, daughter of the star, great mistress of the dark of forest, of the void, and of all things that are born from it. Oh, I'm Moshang, mage of... of... of nothing, actually, mage of the dump. I haven't had time to make a name for myself yet, I just graduated from the Academy of the Constant Order. You're fresh out of school? I know I don't look it, what with being not that young and a murky, but yeah, fresh out of school. Me too. I spent my entire childhood learning the traditions of the major Karsaks. Only I wasn't much good at it, and um, I left. That's why I came to find you, actually. When I got to our house, my family was gone. Instead, there was this murky lady... Kerma? Ooh, tough luck. She's my sister. She told me to come and see you. So, I guess you wouldn't know where my parents are, would you? Uh, no. Um, but we've been living in that house for three years, so... I see. Well, thank you. I'm sorry I bothered you. No, wait. Uh, a constant mage's duty is to help wherever he can. So, I will help you find your parents, alright? If there's a resident register, we should find it at the city hall on the 7th terrace. Although, getting in to see the mayor might be hard, the crystal shortages are causing all kinds of problems. People are pissed, machines are breaking down all over the place, and no one knows how to fix the situation. That's why I'm in the dump, hunting through all these old books. There's gotta be answers somewhere. Moshang to the rescue, don't sweat it, mages need to support each other. You can change active characters at any time. This has no impact on the flow of the game. Sometimes one of your characters will become the active character to express themselves. No one will judge you if you swap back to your favorite character. Alright, we need to talk to the mayor of Constance, but we need to find some books. 10 Hexel of the Year Zero, Cynthia Kari's Logbook. I don't think that's going to help me. To think that they have always been right here all around us, today the crystals fields offer us their gift, power. Oh wait, no, this does help me. My latest experiments have been conclusive. Soon the crystals will replace the strength of our arms, our legs, and perhaps even that of our hearts. Those who perceive it as the violation of a sacred stillness cannot see what that constancy is smiling upon us. A note on the book's spine reads 264. Maybe the archivist could tell us more. Excellent. Talk to Funda. Are you Funda? Nope, you're, you're Hina? Nahia? There you go. 
Uh, what are you doing with that suction cup? The task committee believes that digging through old books is like sticking your nose in the plumbing, which is not entirely wrong. Whether you are a garbage collector or an archivist, you deal with obsolete materials. So I get to work both jobs. Any other questions? How do you date the books? Well, let me get a whiff. Hmm, moldy mushrooms, old lice, and a hint of woodworm. If my nose is to be trusted, I'd say this one is about 200 years old. You really have a nose for those things, Funda. You taught me everything, you flatterer. Someone has scribbled 264 on the book's spine. Excellent. I can attest to that myself, give or take 64 years. Now that we've double-checked this information, it's super reliable. And bring Torn Page to Hogar. I can't, can I just bring the whole book to Hogar? Do I have to be ripping up books? There's a bunch of like leaks in, <laughs> in one of these boxes too. Okay, we also need to find... Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the wrench. A bunch of eggplants. Anything else of interest? Nope, I think we're good. And we can talk to these two. Hmm, interesting. Huh? What? What's interesting? But you, of course. Why, thank you. I have a mission of the utmost importance to entrust you with. What would it be? It would be a matter of going there. Go there where? Oh, anywhere but here, right? That's what that's what they're going to say. Just go there. That's all I ask. <laughs> go there. Um I've I've gone here. This is <laughs> I thought they were just telling us to leave. I didn't think this was an actual side quest. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe I just run around and then come back. Just go there. That's all I ask. Okay. Well, I need to go find out where there is. It's not back here, is it? No. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the same thing that I already read. Okay. Yes, we know that. So we have... Where is... I don't have... A... Uh... A look at all my quests. Okay, let's first uh, deliver this to Hogar. Yes, this page proves that crystals have not always been a part of our lives. Hogar, you know no one cares about moldy old books. Ah, but don't you see? This means change is possible. The truth is, it's all here already. Fresh air, plenty of food, skilled craftspeople. I need to know, what do the people of Constance really need? Go around town to ask the population and come back to me with your findings. Survey the population. I just talked to the people here. Here's uh, Hama. This Hogar individual makes some reasonable points, my dear Rivet. Couldn't agree more, my sweet mallet. Okay, maybe I have to go further afield. I can't talk to I can't talk to either of you. We have to return the wrench as well. Oh, here's a resident. As red as residents of Constance, what do you really need? What a question. Without crystals, constancy is out of reach. Okay, that they're all gonna answer crystals, right? Can I talk to any of you? No. You're a resident. I'm sure you want crystals, though. Yes, the phone doesn't work, so you're waiting for crystals. Uh, for you over here, can't talk to you. I can give you a wrench. As a resident of Constance, what do you really need? Like Hogar, my parents would tell you that the only thing you need is elbow grease. But frankly, without crystals, working's a real pain. Talk to Hogar, get some more money, let's go. I can finally get back to work, thank you. Alright, very nice. Uh, anything else for me? My parents are the best engineers in all of Terra. 
Yes. Okay, and uh, let's see. There's no... Oh, here we go. So, in progress, story, constants, miscellaneous. <laughs> we need to go there. All right, we have talked to all the residents we need. The inhabitants of the capital seem quite attached to the constancy of their way of life. Damn it, why won't they understand? Crystals are not what we need. It tears my heart out to say this, but maybe Constance is not the right place for our project. What, what project? You have us, Hogar, we agree with your vision. We'll follow you wherever you go. Isn't that right, my little feather key? Let's leave. I can have all my stuff ready by tomorrow. You're right. Time has come for a new beginning. There's nothing holding us here anymore. We must journey onwards, seek the change we need on our own. May all those who wish to start a new life come find us in the distant lands of Redland. Together we'll build our new home, one that will bring constance and hope to our future. Pass the night, meet Hogar and his supporters in Redland. That'll give me a lot of money there. Where's... Nope. Uh, map? Oh, way over there on the far right. Alright, uh, let us... Wait, what do we have to do now? Redland. And the parents. What else do we got here? We have expired elevator ticket. A quick glance is all it takes to see that this elevator ticket has been used many, many times. Oh, look. We got our two people. We have four four more, or even one to the right. Cooking book? We can cook? Holy cow, look at this. A fresh pizza, flour, fish, creme fraiche, berry, <laughs> berry pie. Pick me up, a lemon crepe. Oh, how do we go cooking? I want to do that. All right, let's uh, try and use the elevator. Seventh Terrace. Hello? Looking after the mayor is a full-time job. I had to give up many... Give up my job as a nanny. All right, uh, I'll just scooch on by you. The Mayor of Constance. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. We were hoping you could help us. Oh, I wouldn't if I were you. I'm not good at that. Anyway, we can still try. I'm listening. Um, we'd like to read Constance's citizen register. You want to read a dusty old archive? Why even bother? What a strange idea. Well, you know, people come and people go as Constancy would have it. Syl here is looking for her parents. They're... lost. Maybe she's better off. I did everything my mom told me, and look at what the result. I'm a mayor of Constance. Sigh, it's terrible, you know. All those people and their questions, their demands, their requests. I'm, uh, sorry? That sounds... tough. But about Syl's parents, where can we find the register? Ah, yes, I misplaced it during the last constant hullabaroo party. Why would you bring the city register to the Hullabaroo? I wanted to write down the lyrics of the songs and I couldn't find any paper. Can't be healthy anyways, trying to pin down the past in a book. Unconstant. Well, I guess we're going to the Hullabaroo then. Let's go, Syl. Enter the Hullabaroo, find the city registry. And we also need to talk to... Alto, the constant hullabaroo is located on the fifth terrace, but you won't be allowed in if you're not accompanied by a licensed bard. You should find one by looking up the classified ads in the guidebook. Oh, I'm already I'm already on my way. Hire a licensed bard. I have some money. Is there anybody else here? Oh wait, who are you? Domi, look at that. There's no water left in any of the city's ponds. Gardener is a busy job. Can't ex expect me to do everything. And if there's no constancy left, even in the fountains, I bet the pump system is no longer being supplied with crystals. 
Could you ask the engineers who live on the 5th for help? They might know what to do. Sure, I can do that. Anybody else got any side quests? Looks like that's it up here. Oh, hello. Oh, it's JD. What do those what do these carcasses want from us as if constancy wasn't hard enough to maintain already? Me we can meditate? Breathe, Mo Shang. Huh? Relax. You'll make it this time. I was completely relaxed. Of course. Go ahead. I won't say another word. You can do it, Mo Shang. What am I doing? Everything all right? I lost my focus. I'll try another time. Is something wrong? Yes, yeah, somebody keeps talking to me. All right, let's go higher alto. Oh, no, wait, we got to talk to the engineers. Oh, we have gone there. <laughs> let's go. Oh, let's go get some money. You guys are the engineers, right? We need help to get water back into the fountains. Like almost everything in the city, the fountains are connected to crystalline systems. But the crystal age is not as constant as it used to be. Don't you agree, my beloved wrench? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, sweetie hex key? I think I am, my spanner. If I'm not mistaken, the pump that supplies the fountains with water is located here on the fifth terrace. Yes, the crystal machine is just past Hogar's house beyond the Pen Pentac Court. A good, well-placed kick should do the... F should do to fix it and don't be afraid to really go at it all right let's go yeah <laughs> repair in in quotes the crystal machine all right that was over here we gotta kick this thing oh do we break it uh talk to domi get reward oh we, we totally I, it was like that when I got there. Okay, uh, but we also need to... Go go say that we went there. We successfully went there. The hyena counter and Constance has been offering its service to the population for about as long as it has existed. Okay. Oh, wait, do we have to... Do we have to swap characters? No. Wait, what do we have to do? Or do we already do it? Oh, it's under miscellaneous. Hyena counter, go there. Talk to... Oh, oh! Not to you. We gotta turn it in to you. My colleague... Ain he, the great runner, asked you to go there. And so you went, with panache and even a little sweat. Your contribution is a great step forward for hyena research. You have my thanks. Um, you're welcome. I'm happy for the... the cash, though. All right, uh, Mr. Bard. Wow, oh my. I love your vibes. Harmony, timber, tempo, you must be good friends. It really shows. Huh? But we've only just met. Oh, then it's only a question of time. I tend to play a little ahead of the beat. Just follow your tempo. The right note is the one you play. Actually, we're here because we saw the ad in your guidebook. But of course, you're looking for a guide for the constant hullabaroo. That's exactly my jam. Hullabaroos are the place to be if you want to feel the subtle melody of the world. Actually, we just need to get in the hullabaroo so we can retrieve a book. Ha, huh, happens all the time. You get lost in the music and lose your senses and your stuff. The hullabaroo does funny things to some folks. Once, one of my fans got trapped in B-flat minor for two days. We had to call a constant mage in, get him tuned back to his plane... To this plane of reality. Wow, have you been in this business for a long time? 
as long as can be, every morning a melody, every hour a harmony. When I'm not on tour, I'm out looking for the next inspiration. But business isn't as good as it used to be, so I put an ad in the guidebook. And here you are now, thanks to all this. I'll take that as a sign I can already feel the songs writing themselves. Music to my ears. If I follow your story from the beginning, I'll be able to write a ballad that's just banging. All these good vibes, I can feel your stars in the making. You call the tune now or ready when you are. Alto seeks inspiration. I've been looking for a long time, but, but now I've found you. All right, excellent. Let's go to the Hullabaroo. Stay here. Nope. I'm, I'm going this way. We're looking for a book. My spells are ready. Let's rock and roll. Wait, what are we doing? Hold on. Are we about to fight? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Of course. Musical brawls is what the Hullabaroo is all about. I... I'm sorry. I just... I don't understand what's happening to me. Natalie, I mean, Aeus is my heirloom spirit. Aeus? The one from that thing about the forest of the Void Star. Yes, she is a very powerful ancestor spirit passed down to my family from summoner to summoner, and... and... and I lost her. What do you mean you lost her? I summoned Aeus to destroy this damned carcass, and I haven't felt her presence since. I've tried to let my mind wander the gemstone path like they taught us in school, but I can't feel her presence. It's like she vanished into thin air. You're a bit shaken, that's all. Don't worry, we'll find your great-great-great-grandmother. And your parents, too. So don't you worry, alright? Mosheng, Alto, thank you for helping me. Don't mention it, really. Yes, we can't turn our ears away from the dissonance of tears and the great harmony. My music and I will support you to the end, Sil. So, go at your tempo, alright? Uh, okay, we're, we're in it. The battle begins. What are these things? A party tuk-tuk and a party bubble... Bubble beetle... Bubble bleedle. Bubbleedle. Some characters like Alto play a supporting role in combat. They affect another character's capabilities by forming a duo. Their powers can be activated when choosing a skill. For example, Alto transforms attacks into heals and heals into attacks. Interesting. Character duos are formed randomly at the start of each battle. Each formation brings its own set of strategic possibilities. Learn how to get the most out of every formation. Alto will sometimes ally with Moshang and sometimes with Sil. Okay. Oh, I see. So we can only have two out at a time. I mean, technically we have three, but two on the field. So we can go Benjamin or Oriona. So this will... Plays again in 6 plus 1. Oh, because we're getting hit. Uh, edit. What does that mean? This will hit multiple... This heals, right? No. It looks like it heals. And then that will do that looks like it does damage that looks like it heals and I'm not sure what that does it's got a color wheel on it let's try this with the whirlwind the tornado oh no that's the heal and that is a single attack Oh, I think I get it. So it's swapping back and forth. So this here, this is a heal. Ah, oh, so the top one is the multi-attack. This is the single attack, and we can swap which one heals or not. So on the right, when we edit it, oh, I got it. On the, le the left, next to the number is what it does, and the right is what happens if I change it. So we want a multi-attack on all of you, and the... Bubbleedle is weak to that. Super effective. You will go. 
Oh, we take nine. That was a lot of damage. But you can actually push both of them back. That sounds great. Destroy both their shields. Excellent. Back to the end of the line. And then now you're weak to everything, so we can just do a multi-attack. Down one, and down two. There we go. We're also level one. I wonder how we level up if we're gaining it. We are gaining experience there. Let's go again. The battle begins. All right, so we want to go ahead and just sort of do the same thing. Super effective. And then hit an incandescence, send everybody back, make you all weak to everything. And then hit you with the Benjamin. Oh, not quite enough. That's fine. We still go uh, before you. Let's uh, let's put a uh, a rock fall right on you. Oh, we got 4D glasses. Wait, can we, like, equip things? Oh, look at these. The fact that you can keep your glasses on says a lot about how dangerous these hullabrews really are. The machine you see here is an instrument based on ultrasonic wavefront inversion. You see, by exerting just the right amount of pressure on the keys, you can trigger a staggered, twinned, gyratory movement. Each trumpet sends out a frequency-modulated ultrasonic wavefront to absorb partials of the wall's resonant frequency. Sure, I'll trust you. When its resonance matches with the room's subharmonics, a door opens. Any questions? All of the questions. I have all the questions. <laughs> That's a lot of words to say we need to activate this machine, don't you think? Sure, but you have to admit that it has completely changed the way you look at it. That's the magic of sound for you. Well, um, Alto, thanks for the explanation. Let's do what we must. Alright, so... Oh, what is... Can we do anything with that? No, okay. Activate. Ah... Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, we have to go on this side? Oh, I see. There we go. That opens that one. But there's a there's a chest over there. I want the chest. So we need to aim one of these in that direction. Excellent. What do we get out of here? One car sack. Equipping lapel pins. You found a pin. These small ornaments increase your attributes in battle. You can equip them from the character screen. Pins are very important for becoming stronger in battle. Fortunately, there are lots of ways to get them. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, excellent. Use this pin to gain the following bonuses. Plus eight, I presume that is like strength. So, it's power. So I feel like, I mean, it is a Karsak pin. I feel like you should be wearing it. Even though I probably should put it on Moshang, technically. Can I put the, the glasses? Do the glasses do something? Uh, no, the glasses don't show up there. Oh, interesting. You just have this menu, support. I can only equip on Sil and Moshang, it looks like. Alright, let's get this changed back. There we go. 
into another battle. Oh, now it's Moshang and Alto. So we go with the good old Benjamin here. Yep. Super effective. And it looks like we want to use our Rockfall on this one. And then we or we can edit and turn them into healing, but we don't need to do that. Rockfall on Oh wait a minute, actually. If we do incandescence, we knock the the beetle back. And then we can go again and use our rockfall to knock the uh, the tuk tuk back. Or actually, still cannot knock the tuk tuk back. Excellent. And we're just going to. So this is a heal, right? Yeah, that's a heal. Do this. Super effective. One down. And then, you know what? Get a big old rock fall. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Look at you. You're, you're, <laughs> disc golem. You're made out of disco balls. Growl. And Disco Bolum. Oh, okay, that was big. Alright, we have some weaknesses. We're gonna bounce. But we're gonna land there anyway, so... Uh, yep, yeah, just uh, hit everybody. Take down some of their shield a bit. Super effective. And it's a good thing that two of them are weak to incandescence. Because we're definitely going to do that right now. Send everybody back. Very nice. And then just... Oh, it's, that's awful. Sure. Oh, what is, what is that winged... Oh, is that what that was? I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, uh... A single rock fall? For more damage? We're gonna wind up behind... Behind the Disco Golem, or Bolum, anyway. And, you know what? Should I heal? Or actually, we should edit and do some... What does this do? It's got this color wheel. It does a lot of damage is what it does. Excellent. Oh, there's the book right up here on the stage. Parse the register. The city register. Let's see what it says about your family, Sil. Hmm, it looks like they opened a new store selling something called Polyme. And then closed it, oh dear. What's it saying? It only mentions, mentions the reallocation of the empty unit to new residents. And then it looks like someone spilled something on it. It's all sticky. I'm afraid that's all I can make out. I'm sorry, Sil. So, what, my family just disappeared? Whoa, easy there. I can't let such a sad song be written. Maybe they just left. Well, a lot of people have been leaving the city since the crystal shortages. People's trust in the constancy of Constance has been shaken. I wonder what Polyme is. That's probably a clue, right? I've never heard of it. My parents always did like to follow the latest trends. Let's take the register back to the mayor. It's too important to be left on this sticky floor. Don't worry, Sil. I'll hum a song or two to keep your spirits dancing. All right, we gotta head back, uh, yep, head back to the mayor. Oh, 
Get over here. Oh, hold on. What's up? Hey, you. I know a shortcut out of here. Want to see? Uh, yeah. Follow me. Oh, there we go. Excellent. And then we need to head to the mayor. I mean, we also have... We had other side quests too, right? We had to go there. Oh, the water. That's right, the water. This was... Oh, in Redland. Have you seen my parents? Okay, no, we're all good. Oh, wait, no, not that way. This way. To the seventh terrace. Oh, hello. Who are you? Yes. Join us. We're going to break we're going to break some stuff. Wait a minute. What? What's going on? The crystal shortage has gone on long enough. The mayor needs to take responsibility now. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Let's talk to you first though. And just like that, the gardens of the seventh already look much better. You pulled us out of some deep water there. Let us in. We demand to know what the mayor is doing about the crystal shortages. He's ignored the problems faced by the people of Constance for too long. With him at the helm, everything is breaking down. The trains no longer run. The market is empty. If there's enough crystals for the elevators, then there's enough for the inhabitants. The mayor is very busy. If you want to see him, you'll need an appointment. All right, give us an appointment then. Uh, I'm afraid there are no appointments currently available. Try again tomorrow. No, no more waiting. We want change now. Hey, uh, we've got an appointment to bring the mayor the citizen register. How about we ask him about the crystals while we're at it? You can try. Good luck getting anything useful out of him. Yeah, we're done talking. Let's take his sash of office. No more mayor. Please, everyone, be calm. Show some constancy. Things are as they are. Down with constancy. Come on... Come out now, Mr. Mayor, or we'll come in there and toss you in the dump. Whoa, what's going on here? I called a residence meeting on the 5th Terrace. Why are you all here? Join us, Hogar. We're going to oust the mayor. Yeah, we're done being told trust Constancy to guide Constance. We want change. You want change? Then forget the mayor, forget the crystals. Come on, follow me. Let's not waste any more time. I've got a plan. Well, that was simple enough. Did you not want to go? Oh, what? They left. <laughs> he left behind. Did you fall asleep? The mayor is waiting for you inside. Oh, it's you two. Catalan told me you stopped the anti-constancy mob outside. I mean, sort of. Not, not really. They're here every day, you know, raging about the crystal shortage. Blah, blah, we're desperate, we need your help, yada, yada. I mean, you are the mayor. If anyone can help, it's you. And what am I supposed to do about it? Make crystals pop out of my shell? I can't help if the Chalco crystal field no longer deliver. It's just a fact of life. Crystal shortages are the new constant. You must have sent someone to investigate, right? Oh, that's going to be us. Investigate? Oh my, what a grand idea. If I could find out what was wrong, maybe I could tell the boars outside and they'd stop bothering me. How long do you think it's going to take you? And by you, you mean us. Yes, you. It was your idea, and be quick about it. There's no time to lose. But we're looking for Syl's parents. Well, maybe they're out in Chalco. You never know. Go to the station and take the train to Chalco. Here's a pass with my signature. And when you get there, you can... What was it you said? Investigate. All right, Crystal Shortage, talk to Isimea, the Station Master. Uh, but we're at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this game is a lot of fun. <laughs> I really enjoy this. There's a lot of side quests. Uh, I'm interested in what the cooking is. There's, there's cooking in here. Uh, I love the artwork. I love the writing. Oh, we got more stuff here. 
I can't believe it. Constance has been breaking down piece by piece for years. People are leaving in droves. All this time I've been searching for answers in the dump. And the mayor never even sent anyone to investigate the shortages? What's the big deal about these crystals anyway? We never used any crystals in school. Huh? What about your gems? Summoners inherit their gems. They help us remember the path to the ancestor spirits, like a talisman. Oh, I see. Well, this whole city is built on crystal power. The lifts, the trains, the lights. The amps, the mics, the sound systems. And as crystals grow scarce, they become more and more expensive. This is why my sister is always in a terrible temper. She wants me to go back to working construction. She says magic is a complete waste of time and energy when I could be helping by earning money. I thought if I could find an answer, maybe I could show her that magic can be useful too. You still can. If you want to investigate in Chalco, I'm with you all the way. What about your parents? I promised I'd help you find them. Well, all we know is that they left, right? They could be anywhere, but they're not here. Sounds like we're about to take on a quest. I am digging up this I'm digging this improvisational interval. Ah, Mosheng, there you are. I need a graduate mage to take on an important task, and you're the only one available. We have so many quests going on. Ina here brought me some disturbing news about the carcasses. My hyena sisters have found these deep holes. Caves? Wells? We don't know what they are exactly. And the door is sealed. Crazy. Still, our readings indicate there's carcasses inside. Way more than in the junk heaps outside. Way, way more. We think there are other holes like this one, but where and why? And what and who? But that sounds terrifying. What do you need me for? To investigate, of course. The constant mages can't leave holes full of aggressive junk unchecked. Aren't there other mages to do this? I do it myself, but I have other duties that need my constant supervision. Talk to my sister Naya in Redland. She knows more than me. She's a whole specialist. Okay, well we need to go to Redland anyway. So we're investigators now, I guess. I knew you guys were going to be a hit. Let's go, let's go the flow, see where the score takes us. Once again, this has been Terra Memoria. If you want to check this game on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.